there is a massive race of products offering yield for XRP. However, there is only one solution that is fully self-custodial, over-collateralized, and with a high level of decentralization. In today's video, we're going to discuss that and what are the best opportunities so that you can put your XRP to work. Until now, XRP has remained as an evil asset. So you purchase that asset and then you don't do anything with it because you can't. But right now there are multiple solutions that are offering yield on top of your XRP. But you need to wonder what is really the risk and how can I get access to full decentralized finance for my XRP? And if you ask this, then the answer is clear. Flare is the only solution that brings XRP into DeFi via the FXRP asset. So what is FXRP? Let's explore this press release together with the Flare developers documentation to try to understand what FXRP is. Now, if you scroll down, you will see uh, the explanation of what is FXRP, which is a one-to-one -one representation of the XRP asset on Flare network, which is an EVM compatible chain, and that has a focus on bringing non-smart contract assets such as XRP into DeFi. So this is a specialized protocol to do that. So anyone can mint FXRP and then it can be used on uh, different protocols on DeFi, and including uh, liquidity provision, uh, borrowing and lending. And then in the future, you will have access to liquid staking via protocol called Firelight. And um, this is a very unique uh, system that is powered by a facet system created by Flare. So here we are seeing the documentation, um, like the intro says, it's a trustless over collateralized bridge that can connect these non-smart contract networks to Flare. Um, in very simple terms, what it does is you will lock your asset on the underlying chain. In this case, the XRP ledger, you will lock your XRP and then you will be able to mint F assets on Flare. I have created a full tutorial on how to do this with Ledger. And if you want more details or you need more uh, explanations about how the technology behind works, please let me know in the comments. I will be reading each one of them. One thing that you should note is that there is a limit on the amount of FXRP that you can mint on this system right now. And the cap are right now, I think is around 10 million uh, XRP, but of course it will increase each week. And so make sure you visit the website and click refresh to see if you're uh, able to mint any XRP via the different lots that they have. And, uh, always make sure to check out like the official channels and links because of course there is a bunch of people trying to uh, perform scams and uh, security always must be something that you should take uh, as a priority right so right now i'm on the official uh, website to mint f assets provided by au one of the agent providers in this system and the next thing that i want to discuss is actually what are some of the protocols that I can use once I mint uh, FXRP, right? So we can see this list here on DeFi Llama. Today, I think I'm going to explore only these two protocols. And of course, note that the this is obviously something big for the network as the TVL is increasing because more and more people are trying to mint FXRP, utilizing their XRP and putting this asset to work. So right now, the top protocol uh, for lending on Flare is Kinetic. If you click here, you will see the growth of this protocol over time. And then you can click here on the website and it will prompt the application. You can launch the app here 
and then you should be able to find a way to gain yield on your FXRP. So there is a bunch of alternatives here and I can just click here on supply and borrow. Uh, right now, I don't have any FXRP on this wallet. I will be doing a tutorial exclusively for this. Let me know in the comments again if you want to see something specific. Um, of course, you can uh, not only supply, but you can supply and borrow. And always make sure you check out this number, which is the API, right? And um, on top of that, what I'm especially attracted to is uh, Spardex. Uh, which is the main DEX on Flare. And if you click again on the website, you will go to this place, uh, spardex.ai, and then you can launch the app. And one thing that I recommend checking is the farm page in which you can see all the different alternatives to utilize your FXRP and get some yield. Right now you have a pair here for liquidity provision with Bugo, which is uh, a meme coin. I'm not sure if you want to take that risk. That's up to you, of course. I like to play with stable coins, specifically USDT Zero, which is uh, the omni-chain version of USDT. So you can easily bring this asset and swap it and bring it from other chains uh, and to other chains, of course. And as you can see here, the incentives are really, really nice. So of course, none of this is financial advice or whatever. I just want you to know what are the alternatives and finally, I want to explore why you should consider this kind of solution. I did a little experiment and I asked Perplexity, which is a very well-known AI powered search engine to classify the different XRP yield products according to two main uh, parameters, which is the level of decentralization and the custody type and the answer that comes on top in terms of decentralization and custody type is flare networks and the f asset system in which you have full control of your assets and then you have of course more markets which is integrated with flare um, and of course there is a bunch of other alternatives i want to be super clear about that including centralized exchanges so what i would recommend is that you explore each one of these alternatives and then decide what is the level of risk that you are willing to tolerate. Because remember that yield not only means earning, it also means a level of risk. Each one of these products and solutions has a level of risk. I personally prefer decentralization and I prefer self-custody, but that is not for everyone and that's completely fine. So make sure you do your own research. Let me know also in the comments if you have any proposed solutions that you like the most. And I think that we want to finally explore some of the most frequently asked questions about uh, FXRP. So this is actually available on the website uh, from Flare Networks. Of course, people are still asking what is FXRP. Like I mentioned, this is a one-to-one -one representation of XRP minted on Flare via the facet system, which uh, some of the features that I like is that it's uh, secure and it's over collateralized and it's fully non-custodial. I think that those are key features here uh, that people need to take into account. It is already live. You can go to the uh, Mint application and if there is any lot available to Mint FXRP, you can do that. If not, you can also swap FXRP on different uh, decentralized exchanges like Spartex. So if you have some USDT and you want to swap that for FXRP directly without minting, you can do that as well. And then you can uh, play around with the different LP positions. That's completely up to you. And finally, uh, what is STXRP, which is Firelight's Liquid Stake XRP, right? Uh, this is another protocol that will use uh, liquid staking and is going to be launched on Q4 of 2025. Uh, this is by a third party. So of course, people ask about what happens with the incentives because Flare has an, uh, a very big incentive programs with Air FLR. Uh, and if this is going to change, 
the system is the same. So make sure you visit the website from Flirt Networks and read how the facets incentive program actually works. Uh, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. I hope that today you learned something new. If this video added value to you, please make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions or you want me to cover a different topic on my next video, please make sure to leave that information in the comments and let's keep growing and learning together.